Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, JPM.Cuisine. I'm JP, and today we're going to be taking a look at this awesome set. It is the 10 inch carving knife in the Renaissance model. Um, we've got the Renaissance 6 inch carving fork. Man, that's got some weight to it, so that's pretty cool. So as you know, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. And if you're like me, sometimes you like to do some tableside carving uh, for your guests. Most of the time you may not, but if you do, it's nice to always have a cool set. I can remember watching movies um, where they would bring out this lavish set in a box and they had those stainless steel shiny handles and it was just a long knife and they would use that to carve. And Catherine, this turkey tastes half as good as it looks. I think we're all in for a very big treat. Um, you know me, I've got a ton of options for carving, but not always the ones I want to use for table side. When I'm behind the scenes carving, cutting, slicing, I have a ton of knives. But sometimes when you're out in front of the guest, and you want to be able to do some carving at the table. Um, it's nice to have a nice block and a good set of carving tools. The Mercer six inch fork um, has a nice curvature to it. You guys can see, good set of weight to it. Very comfortable, feels really cool. Looks like a quality set. And then we've got the 10 inch um, carving, which has a little bit of flex in it. Perfectly fine, I like that. Um, but what you want to make sure is that it's razor sharp so that whenever you go through and start slicing, you get those perfect cuts. Just like any of the other uh, Renaissance line, we've got the X50 CR MOV 15 steel. So we got a paper ground edge, as you can see on this knife. Uh, it's more like it is a 50-50. Let's go ahead and check that balance on the knife. All right, so it's right sort of on the edge. Typically, you would think it would be out here, but they've got a nice balance on the on the tang there. So right there, you've got a really good balance point. So just right here on the front of the bolster, the amount of weight here evenly distributed to the 10 inches on the blade itself. Um, again, a nice little flex, very comfortable handle. The pinky groove, always uh, comfortable. Delrin style handles with the three rivets. And this feels great. This one, <laughs> oops, this one is definitely uh, a little bit heavier tar to handle. You know, the good thing about the uh, forks is that you can also use them for presenting uh, pasta. They're really good for twirling and making a nice little nest. So let's go ahead and check out the sharpness on the, um, on the carving knife. Ooh, that's very sharp. So I can already feel that it's sharp. I'm gonna get you a nice little slice here. That's what a carving knife does. Some thin slices if you're looking for some thin slices. You've got 10 inches of cutting uh, edge, so I mean you're gonna get you're gonna get some very decent cuts. So let's go ahead and pretend that we've got two little breasts here. And as you typically would, because it's typically hot. And I think maybe for a sanitary purpose, you'd rather use a fork in your hands. You're just gonna do your nice little slices as you would, okay? Nice control, feels good. Very similar to the Yanagiba. I mean, you can use your finger and do the same kind of slice. I kind of do a modified pinch grip where I'm using my finger rested in that groove and then focusing primarily on making sure whatever it is I'm slicing is not moving. Very, very cool set. Let's do some more cuts here. So I think it's nicer to use the carving fork in front of people, unless you're like really close family. The thing about using your hand when you're <laughs> cutting meat is some people 
may not appreciate you using your fingers on their food and I can understand that. So having a carving fork is good in that. If it's your first Thanksgiving and you've never done it before and you wanna do some some fancy uh, table side carving, this is really cool. I mean, it works Thanksgiving as well, Christmas coming up. Um, if you guys have a big dinner for um, New Year's or something like that, family planned, Easter, anytime that you're doing any kind of table side carving, this is a good set to have on hand. And making sure that it is immaculately sharp, it's just gonna do and all your guests even better. Um, <clears throat> so far, it feels really, really good. The fork, I mean, having it handle heavy, I feel like I've got plenty of control here in the fork tips, so I can use it how I need. All right, well, this has been the quick look at the Mercer uh, Culinary Renaissance 10 inch carving and the six inch Renaissance fork. This is the curved edge. I'll leave all of the item numbers and the links in the description as always. Um, and we'll get this video out to you so you guys can pick them up if you're wanting to do something for Thanksgiving coming up very shortly. Uh, I should give you enough time to pick these up. I like them. I think they're great. Um, I would definitely use these in front of uh, my guest, especially when I'm doing some carving at the table. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, as always, if you do me a favor and like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it with any of your friends if uh, they haven't seen it. I'm sure, they'd love to see this video as well. And thanks for watching.